You took the wrong kid. You took the wrong Catwoman DVD. Kidnap stars Halle Berry and is the story of a mother who is trying desperately to get her son back. They were at a park one day and somebody snatched him and she starts chasing them and that's basically the entire film. A 90 minute thrill ride in which you are with Halle Berry on the worst day of her life. I'm in my hilariosity background for another new release review. So that should tell you everything you need to know. But trust me, I have a lot more to say. Starting with the fact that Relativity Media originally made this film. And that was in 2014. Since then, this film has had five release dates. It has been pushed back and pushed back and pushed back because that studio went into bankruptcy. And now it has a new picture company and is finally being released. I think, you know, this is a day or two early, so who knows, by the time this review goes up, maybe they will have pulled it out of theaters again. But it's, it's coming out this weekend, and uh... The movie opens with home video footage of a baby, and you eventually realize it's Halle Berry's kid. And then you see her working at her job, she's a waitress, but she doesn't take shit from anybody. Some people are like, hey, I don't want to eat that, it's gonna make my thighs fat. And she's like, you could use some of that lady, and walks away. And, and there are some women in my audience that were like, "Ooh!" But soon enough, this kid gets snatched at a park, and basically the rest of the film is Halle Berry either in a car, on foot or in some house trying to get her kid back. Now this could work. There are films like Joyride with Paul Walker and Steve Zahn or Breakdown with Kurt Russell. Even Steven Spielberg's Duel has similarities to this movie. And on paper, this movie could actually be really great. In fact, the concept is a lot of fun. This could be a really fun thriller if it was given to the right filmmaker and the right production crew. This film is a complete failure of production. Halle Berry is doing her best. She's fine in this role. It's a fairly thankless role. She basically just runs around the whole time and goes, oh my God, a lot. The editing of this film is where the problems really come into play. This is some of the worst editing that I've ever seen in my life. The shots jump back and forth in such jarring ways that reminded me of the editing in Olivia or Megaton action movies. It's not quite as bad as this. <laughs> But there's one sequence in particular that is close, where Hallie is fighting this woman in her car and they're choking each other out with seatbelts. It is absolutely atrocious and I kind of found myself really enjoying it. The first act of Kidnap features some of the worst and most obvious ADR I've ever heard. There's an entire scene with Hallie in her car that doesn't even sound like her. In fact, the sound editing and the final cut of this movie, the way everything's cut together, it feels like a rough cut. It feels almost like a work in progress edit. And since the studio went bankrupt, I wouldn't be surprised if that were half true. To pinpoint one moment in particular, during one of the car chases, it fades to black and then fades back in like six or seven times to try to make you feel like you're feeling some sort of adrenaline or something. But it just looks like one of those trailer moments where they go, ah! This film feels like an eviscerated mess. Like if there was a thriller here at some point, it has been cut to shit. Visually, it's highly uninspired. It's a very ugly looking movie. There's one Dutch angle shot that spins as we approach her minivan when she's chasing this car who's kidnapped her kid. And the entire time during like this 15 to 20 second Dutch angle spinning shot, I was just asking myself, why? Why is this here? Is this like some art house moment thrown into this cliched action thriller? There are so many choices like that throughout Kidnap that are baffling to me. And I won't lie, I was entertained by this movie, like really entertained. This was a really entertainingly bad film. It's not, what they were going for at all, and I feel bad for them, but I really enjoyed watching this film. Make no mistake, this is a really bad movie. It's honestly one of the worst of the year, but it's the right type of bad if you like to watch movies that are so awful you can get a kick out of it at the same time. They also reuse similar shots multiple times of the speedometer going from like 40 to 60, like super fast, like insanely fast for a minivan that she's driving. It was rather hilarious and I kind of loved it. Uh, there are so many things they could have done with this movie to make it better. 
There's one scene in particular where Hallie gets out of her car and she's running as fast as she can to try to speed up to this one place to get there. And it could have been like this really intense moment, but they break it up into so many shots that you can't even really feel the energy of the moment. If they had just made it like one or two shots, like a continuous panning side shot of her running as she gets out of the car and you can really feel like the intensity of, of her performance in this singular moment. But you can't because it's cut to shit and you're constantly trying to catch up with the edit of this movie. It ruins the pacing of what could have been a perfectly enjoyable throwaway thriller and it becomes a mind-numbing, so bad that it's good thriller. To add on to the horrible editing in this movie, towards the end there's this sequence where this vicious dog is chasing her and she hides under water and some stuff happens with one of the villains and then she's back up on top of the water again and the dog is just gone. And it just cuts to her inside the house and I'm like, what about that vicious dog? It's possible that the dog could have been shot in this altercation that occurs, but this is never made clear in the movie. There are so many things like that throughout the entire runtime of Kidnap, where it feels like there's missing information, missing scenes. It's very much so like that horrible atrocity, The Disappointments Room with Kate Beckinsale. Strangely enough, also another film that was caught in the middle of Relativity Media's bankruptcy. This is the type of movie that has the most basic concept and the most simple story, yet they feel the need to give you a radio voice at the end of the film to give you a summation about whatever you just saw, even though we all know what we just saw. This is like a straight to DVD thriller <laughs> and they still have some guy on the radio at the end summing up the plot for us. This movie treats its audience like morons. It beats you over the head with its imagery. The edit is so frustrating. Halle Berry does her best. It has some truly horrific ADR, and it feels like this movie has been ripped to shreds and just kind of thrown into theaters. I'm gonna give Kidnap a D. But again, I enjoyed watching this movie about 15 minutes in when Halle Berry was praying to herself and talking to herself over and over again in the car. I'm like, Yep, this is going to be entertaining. Uh, but man, honestly though, this is a complete failure of production. Guys, look forward to the continuation of my Stephen King series very soon with more reviews. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.